Good evening, this is Kara Coffey of the Ministry of Uncovered No More. In light of a blog article that I am writing, it isn't so much writing, it's constructing uh, two YouTube videos explaining some things and not much commentary or thought processes in typing from me. However, I'm starting to uh, call up the writings of Uncovered No More, a four blood moon testimony again. And uh, I have to go real slow because most people in the books of mine, and I was careful to change names with the exception of, you know, my children in, in beautiful ways. My husband and I, uh, as I was writing the Double Men's Prayer Initiative, which isn't prayer, it is a fey tale. Actually, I just didn't know that as sequestered in the Protestant movement as I have been. Um, I'm starting to pull portions out. And it's, it's, what some of us as poets would consider normal because poets a lot of times use oracle, tarot, runestones, different things to help us along in our messages. We read other poets. We construct written material. Um, we're not of the technology world and never have been. As a matter of fact, it will give us trouble. And I've been that way my whole life, but particularly after September of 2008, when something very drastic happened to me and the story is in Uncovered No More, uh, the third volume. So I'm having to change a lot of different ways that I express myself. And even why I express myself has been questioned many times. And I am a little tired of having to uh, forgive that issue. person to person, but uh, I'm used to it now and it's, I'm not allowing rejection to be a part of my life anymore. And in this blog article that I'm constructing for a new website, I lay some boundaries. So I am making sure that my life is where it will be in an election year. There's so much rhetoric being bandied about that it's pretty much true. You should probably, I should probably stay off of all media, just get the facts and stay away. I'm already well practiced at reading, at producing my own work. I suggest that you find some things to do that are literary. Do some math. I've done math and I've seen people in coffee shops doing math with books like I've done to, to work our brains in beautiful ways. And um, so This blog article is is uh, heavy, so I'm going to require myself to um, move off the property, move off the pro tomorrow morning. Go get a cup of coffee somewhere and um, put it together. If any time I have to pick up my own book, it's uh, it's heavy.
for various reasons. Um, so tonight I'm going to just read a poem of um, Stephen Vincent Benet's Tiger Joy. It's a book of poems and uh, I drew a room so I'll share that, I'll type that into the blog art, this blog article. This one is easy. <laughs> I've been doing this for years and I'm probably going to do more of this because there are those of us that just need to feed one another some lovely fellowship. So you can fellowship with me. I'll read you a poem because there's really nothing to talk about anymore. I have beautiful gardens. I'm so grateful. I'm gonna look up a recipe for using basil in uh, salad dressings because in the other article, I'm actually gonna show a picture of my um, layered pint jar salads. You know, where you put the salad dressing in the bottom and pack them. It's a very good salad. One a day is good, good for me and um, I like doing it and sharing it. I'm not going to be able to share coffee and tea with anybody anymore. I've been told no too much. People have left me in spirit and, uh, and I'm looking at one of my tiny paintings that's on something I made and it's red clouds crying glitter into a dark background of air and space. And ancient. So, Snowfall by Stephen Vincent Benet. Heaven is hell, if it be, as they say, all endless day. A pen of terrible radiance on whose walls no shadow falls. No sunset ever comes because no sun has ever risen, where, like bewildered flies, poor immortalities interminably crawl, caught in a crystal prison. Yet, if there is but night to recompense impertinence, how can we bear to live so long and know the end is so? Creatures that hate the dark to utmost dark, descending, the worm's dull enmity, to feel it, but not see, to be afraid at night and know that night unending. There is a time when, though the sun be weak, it is not bleak, with perfect and intolerable light, nor has the night yet put those eyes to sleep that do not wish for slumber. When on the city we knew, know the pale transmuting snow falls softly in sighing flakes, immaculate without number. Whisperingly it drifts and whisperingly fills earth and sky with fragile petals tranquil as a swan's blanch pinions. And where it falls is silence, subtle and mild. That silence is not cruel, but calm as a frozen jewel and clasped to its cold, frail breast, earth sucks in rest like a child. If there can be heaven, let it wear even such an air. Not shamed with sun, nor black without a ray, but gently day. A tired street whereon the snow falls whitely, an infant cradled in fleece, an ancient drowsy with peace, unutterable peace, too pure to shine too brightly. This is Kara Coffee at the Mystery.